In the last couple of weeks, I've heard new concerns about the possible antitrust liability of a post-transition ICANN. But again, this ignores the fact that ICANN has always been and will continue to be subject to antitrust laws. I could go on, but let me close with some observations on the multi-stakeholder process. There's no question that within ICANN, the last two years have strengthened the multi-stakeholder model as it is practiced there. Moreover, the accomplishments of the process at ICANN are serving as a powerful example to governments and other stakeholders of how to use multi-stakeholder model to reach consensus on the solutions to complex and difficult issues. However, as we work toward completing the transition, we must recognize that the multi-stakeholder model will continue to face challenges. And it's extremely important that we all remain dedicated to demonstrating our support and respect for the multi-stakeholder approach in all the venues where it is used. We do not show respect for the multi-stakeholder process when we wait until the process is over and the community has reached consensus and then propose a two-year trial of the plan without ever asking the community to consider such an option. We do not show respect for the multi-stakeholder process when we do not even participate for two years and then afterwards say we preferred an option that the community considered and rejected. Closer to home here at IGF USA, we need to respect the process by working to expand participation beyond the Beltway and to support the inclusion of new stakeholders on a nationwide basis in an open, transparent, and inclusive manner. This kind of growth requires a strong foundation, which is why NTIA supports the work of the IGF USA's new sustainability working group. This group is working to develop a governance structure to guide the, or the organizational process and to ensure that there is diverse, inclusive, and multi-stakeholder engagement.